Hi, this is a presentation for CO 275. In this presentation I want to uh, follow up on the game that we wrote earlier, the Pong game. Uh, I was using the iPhone simulator to write that code and so then I noticed that on the Android phone if I place the bar in the path of the ball the ball actually doesn't bounce. So uh, what is the problem? Well, <laughs> it's interesting that uh, the platforms, uh, Android versus iOS, they do have um, unique properties. And after a little bit of, um, of debugging, what I noticed was that on the Android platform, when I place the bar on the screen, you can see that it is not an integer number that the screen registers. It's actually a floating point number that's being returned to uh, the Titanium um, platform. So when our if statements, uh, right here, when our if statement ends up uh, looking for an equal sign, that becomes a problem. Or uh, down here, when uh, we use um, the bar left property, uh, these uh, floating points uh, uh, cause an issue. Basically, the math doesn't agree. So to resolve this problem, I developed uh, here a piece of code that is going to fix the if statement. And the if statement here is going to be uh, using a function that will change uh, this floating point into an integer. See, so get integer, I will go ahead and, and put in parentheses our value for top and the value for left. Notice that this is only for the bar. The ball itself returns integers, so that's fine. In this get integer function, I have it uh, down here at the bottom, uh, where basically in um, a JavaScript language you have to um, be a little creative when calculating these integers. We look for the floating point symbol and then uh, we basically um, cut uh, the, uh, the value from the string. So that's the little function that will do that for us. With this in place though, I'll go ahead and run and we'll see if, um, if the bar in fact is going to work okay so now I'll go ahead and uh, uh, see that the bounce from the bottom uh, did work and now when the ball comes back uh, we'll see if I can uh, bounce it back, there we go so now the ball bounces as expected and it was basically the difference between the iOS and Android platform at the end of the day, though, I now have single code that works for both. Thank you very much.